Hey there. So one thing that I really am passionate about is sharing my story because I know that everybody's story is a little bit different, but sometimes we, we hear a little bit of ourselves in someone else's story. So I do want to share my story with you, my Zaya story, kind of how it came into my life and how things have progressed and changed since it's come into my life. So when I first heard about Zaya, this is, it's also weird to like relive this part of my life. It seems like an eternity ago, <laughs> but when I first heard about Zaya, I was 23 weeks pregnant. I was pregnant with my third baby. It was kind of an unexpected pregnancy. I was feeling really down and I had gained more weight than you're supposed to in your first trimester being pregnant. So I was just kind of in like a bad place. I was sort of trying to find my groove with my fitness journey. Um, previously, I had been with a different direct sales company and was really, really passionate about that company. I had poured myself into it. I was I mean, I was waking up early, I was going to bed late, I was doing everything I was told to do, I was super consistent, and while I had a great physique because of that, <laughs> I wasn't growing my business at all, you know? I mean, I, I grew, I got to like this rank that they consider to be kind of the rank of, of most potential, and I was there for a year, and I just wasn't seeing the growth in my paycheck. And I got really burnt out, and I got really sick of showing up every day and doing all this work and not reaping the financial benefits of it. So I ended up making, for me, it was a really, really hard decision. You know, I was with this company for, gosh, two and a half years, and it really molded me into the person I am today as far as prioritizing my health and fitness and taking care of my body and reading personal development. And it really taught me a lot of things about who I am and, and helped me become the person I am today. But the business side was really, it was really devastating for me to walk away from and to kind of admit to myself, like, you know what, maybe this isn't going to be the thing that brings you freedom, freedom of time, freedom of, you know, financial freedom, you know, whatever it is, maybe this isn't going to be the thing. You know, I had two little kids and I was really, I really wrestled with that decision, but I ended up walking away from it and walking away from it, you know, shortly after is when I got, I got pregnant with third baby and I just was in, I was struggling, you know, I didn't know who I was. Here I was just like I say just mom, but really like I didn't have anything outside of being mom. And so I really was trying to kind of Google all the things and figure out kind of what I wanted to do with my life. And you know, do I want to kind of dive into the stay at home mom role? Or do I want to find something that would be for me? And I kind of ended, you know, after after a period, I ended up actually going back to my old direct sales company just because it was the only thing I, I knew that I loved. But even though financially it wasn't paying out, I just kind of was like, you know, that could maybe, maybe it's just going to be like my, my hobby, you know? Well, I was back at it for about six weeks and I realized it was just kind of the same hole, right? I was kind of leading myself into the same hole and I got this random message from this girl on Instagram. I had never met her before. And it was what you would consider like one of those cold messages, right? Like she sent me a message and was like, hey, have you ever considered like being an activewear rep? And I was like, uh, no. <laughs> My first question back to her was, is this direct sales? Because I, like I said, I had this negative experience and I was like, I'm not going to go there. I don't think direct sales works. It's not, it's not for me. I'm not like one of those select few that's really successful. Like I'm not, that's not going to be my thing. And when I asked her that, she came back with a yes, with an exclamation mark. And I was like, great. <laughs> I was not happy about it, but I just kind of kept looking through her clothes and on her, on her Instagram. And I was kind of checking it out and I was Googling. And at the time the company was just like, barely a year old and there was like nothing out there and I couldn't find any information, but I just kept thinking about it. I kept feeling this pull to like learn more about it. And their mission statement is kind of what, what I couldn't stop thinking about. It's, you know, our mission is to make activity a fun and um, essential part of life. It's to inspire and uplift and make activity a fun and essential part of life. And I was like, gosh, I just really relate to that. You know, like that's kind of what I've been trying to do with this other company, but it just hasn't been paying out for me. 
So I got on the phone with her and I ended up joining this company. And I kid you not, when I brought this to my husband, he his words were, this is it. <laughs> this is it he's like this is the last time we are going to try any sort of like online anything for you is basically what he was saying and I agreed with him I was like you know what I agree this is gonna be it I'm just doing this for fun I don't want to build a business really I just kind of need something for me you know I need something that I can focus on that's empowering and uplifting for myself so I, I got into this company and I I gotta confess you guys I was with him for two weeks and I was like this is so new it's really different than what I was used to. And I'm like, I don't know if I can do this. I don't know. I was like, I was considering sending back my starter kit. I was like, I don't know. It's so different. But I just was like, no, Rachel, like ride this out a little bit. See what it's all about. I got on one of our company's leadership calls and listened to our corporate team. I, I listened to them talk about their mission and, and kind of what they were after and what, how they saw the business going. And I got off that call and I was like, okay, I'm going to go for it. I'm like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to go for it. I am going to, I'm just going to see what happens, right? I'm going to see what happens until I have this baby. By the way, I joined without ever having feeling the clothes and being 23 weeks pregnant. I'm like, I'm just going to go for it until I have this baby and we're going to see what happens. So it was just like, head down, go for it. And I was having the best time. I felt the best about myself that I had ever felt. I really started taking care of myself and my body and my baby because I was finding all of these other things that were fulfilling me through, through Zaya. It was like filling a lot of voids for me and kind of you know, helping me to feel like myself again. And then I started taking care of myself more. And it was just, it was like this domino effect in my life. And so I went for it and I saw some big advancements in the beginning and I had my baby and then business has just kept rolling, you guys, ever since that day, that day, that June 1st, uh, 2018, I joined on May 1st, 2018, June 1st, 2018, I made the choice to go for it. And I have been going for it ever since that day. And now as I share this story with you, you know, I have a, a team that I am so proud of, a team of like my closest friends. We love what we get to do. I have racks of clothes that I absolutely love. I have just really found myself and I've really found this community to feel like it is, it's where I'm meant to be. Like everything happens for a reason and it truly led me to where I'm at. And now, you know, I'm talking, as I'm telling this story, um, August of 2020, you know, we're in the top 1% of this company. We have just, it's just been phenomenal. And the, the impact that it's had on me as a person, the impact that it has had on my customer base, my team, my family's financial situation, you know, we have done some incredible things financially that have been on my vision board for, you know, a long time. And all of a sudden, you know, they're, they're happening. They're there. It's happening for us. And so I just, I wanted to share my story with you because I believe so much in this opportunity. I believe in this opportunity. I believe in this company. I believe in the people running this company. They are very God centered and faith based, and they truly are on a mission to, uplift and empower and to make activity a fun and essential part of life through these clothes. And they're on a mission to provide freedom for their reps. And I just have never felt more valued um, and more appreciated than I do with this company. So that's my story. I am so proud of my story. I am so excited to see where my story continues to go. If you feel like this could be something that, you know, you're interested in, I would love to hear from you. I would love to get you more information on the rep side of things. And, you know, I'm not here to talk anybody into it, but I do believe that it can enhance anybody's life. You know, whether you have like the best life right now, I mean, it will make it better, right? It's just, it's not, it's not just life changing, it's life enhancing, right? It's like something that you maybe don't even feel like you need, but then all of a sudden it's, it's like you get into it and you're like, wow, this is making my life so much better. So, um, I, that's my story. I, I'd love to give you more information. If you're interested in hearing more about it, just shoot me a message or an email, Rachel T Fit Boutique, all one word at gmail.com, and I will get back to you and get you some more information. So I hope you have a great day. Thanks for listening.